Hola amigos, welcome back and today we are going to discuss unit 5 for the OL and it's called helping you helping me. Today we are going just to discuss lessons 4, 5 and 6. But before we start doing anything, we should just read a passage and so and then we will get the new vocabulary. So the passage here is talking about just uh, a story for kids and it's called A Little Princess and it was written by Francis Hodgson Burnt. Everyone at Sarah Cruz boarding school calls her a little princess because her father is very rich. After Sarah's father dies, the head teacher, Miss Minchin, starts being cruel to Sarah because she has no money. She makes Sarah work as a servant, so Sarah has to work very hard and doesn't get much food. However, Sarah decides to behave like a real princess, so she is always kind and polite to everyone. One day, Sarah finds a coin in the street. She can't find the owner. She goes to the bakers to buy some cakes. When she comes out, she sees a beggar and gives the girl most of her cakes. Sarah can see that this girl is cold and hungry. Sarah thinks that a real princess should always be kind and generous like this. When the baker sees this, she is surprised. This girl is very strange. She is very poor, but she is kind to beggars, she thinks. Now it's time to get the new vocabulary in this passage. And number one, it's called boarding school. Yes, boarding school. It's a school where children can live during the school year. And for this, we're going to say, I go to a boarding school in a swan. Now let's move on to the next one. And it's called princess. Yes, princess. And it is a daughter of a king or queen, like our little princess. Now let's move on. And it's called cruel. Yes, cruel. And it means having a desire to cause pain and suffering. And for this, I'm going to give you an example and say, don't be cruel to people. Now let's move on and behave. Yes, behave. It means to do things in a particular way. And for this, I'm going to say, you should behave well. Let's move on. And owner. Yes, owner. It's or it means a person who owns something. So when I tell you, I am the owner of this shop. That means I have this shop. It's mine. Let's move on. And the last one, it's called bigger. Yes, beggars. It, it means a person who lives by asking people for money or food. And you can see them in the street. And there is a famous say, like, beggars cannot be choosers. Let's move on. We have some extended vocabulary here. Number one, it's called charity. Yes, charity. And number two is donation. Charity means an organization for helping people in need. We can say that I give much money for the charity to help people. And number two, donation. Yes, donation. And it means something that is given to a person or an organization to help them. Okay, I can say I gave the charity big donation. It was about two million dollars. Now let's move on to the last word here and it's called share. And here it's a verb and it can be also a noun. But share means to have our 
use something at the same time as somebody else so we can use what is somebody else using like I share my room with my brother now let's move on and read the next passage Hassan's blog it's random acts of kindness project our class decided to try to do one act of kindness every day for three days this is what I did first on Monday I bought my grandmother some of her favorite cakes at the bakers on the way home from school she was surprised but very happy after that on Tuesday I let some younger students go into the canteen in front of me finally on Wednesday I took a sandwich and a cold drink to the old man who often sits on our street corner he gave me a big smile and my opinion doing random acts of kindness is fantastic I don't want to stop in this blog or in this post we need to know what are the expressions for putting things in order if you get the, the second paragraph you will see at the beginning of the paragraph that we have the, the word first yes first I say this word to put the action in order now let's move on let's move on and see what are the other words we use to put the actions in order I put my grandmother some of her favorite cakes at the bakers on the way home from school she was surprised but very happy and I want you to pause the video when you see the word that we want okay now let's move from the beginning first on Monday I bought my grandmother some of her favorite cakes at the bakers on the way home from school she was surprised but very happy after that on Tuesday I let some younger students go into the canteen in front of me finally on Wednesday I took a sandwich and a cold drink to the old man who often sits on our street corner he gave me a big smile in my opinion doing random acts of kindness is fantastic I don't want to stop and thank you now let's move on and how to make a suggestion I can say I feel that that means I want to suggest something for you I feel that we should do an act of kindness every day if I want to agree with him and I say yes for the idea I say I see what you mean and if I want to give a suggestion I, sh I say I agree that it's important to give the money to one charity so I agree that it's important to or I feel that or I think it would be better if if I agree with you I will say I see what you mean but if I don't agree with you I say I'm not sure so just let's read those examples I feel that we should do an act of kindness every day oh I see what you mean I agree that it's important to give the money to one charity mm, I'm not sure I think it would be better if we donate money to charities yes and thank you for watching this video and just wait for the exercises because we are going to answer some more exercises now it's time to answer some questions number one choose the correct answer from A B C or D number one players should wear the best space when they play to help them run glasses trainers jeans jackets you have your three seconds and yes the answer is 
Players should wear the best trainers when they play to help them run. Number two, I saw a man who cannot walk and use a wheelchair. Messy, generous, clever, or disabled. So, you have your three seconds. Yes, I saw a disabled man who cannot walk and uses a wheelchair. Number three, the rich people, the rich help poor people a lot when they money to charities. Sell, borrow, donate, lose. So, again your three seconds. And yes, the rich help poor people a lot when they donate money to charities. Now let's move on to number four. A school is a school where students study and live all the time. So, yes, a boarding school is a school where students study and live all the time. It's letter A. Number five, children like to go to zoo or like to go to the zoo and animals there yes it's easy children like to go to the zoo and feed animals there number six a space is the daughter of the king or a queen so it should be yes a princess is a dot is the daughter of the king or a queen number seven be careful you are a small boy you can't this heavy bag alone Stop, leave, left, left. So the answer is going to be yes, left. And it's letter C, not letter D. Number eight. The space means people who live in a certain area in a city or a town. So, yes, it's the community. Means people who live in a certain area in a, in a city or a town. Now let's move on to number nine. We shouldn't be to animals. Yes, we shouldn't be cruel to animals. Number ten. Nowadays, there are many in most streets who ask for money. So, yes, it will be beggars. Number eleven. My grandfather always gives us money and presents. He is... Yes, he is generous. My grandfather always gives us money and presents. He is generous. Number 12. A space is the person who works in houses. So, yes, a servant is a person who works in houses. Number 13. A kind person is someone who behaves well. Number 14. I usually school on time. So... Yes, I usually reach school on time. Number 15, the baker looked when Sarah gave all cakes to the beggar. So, yes, he looked surprised. He looked surprised. Now, let's move on. Here we have some questions on the grammar. Who arrived at a nice beach? We arrived at a nice beach. We could swim and sit in the sun. So, yes, where we could swim and sit in the sun. Now, let's move on to number two. A waiter is a man serves drinks and food in a restaurant. So, yes, a waiter is a man who serves drinks and food in a restaurant. Now, number three, thank you very, very much for your email. Space was very interesting. So, yes, that was very interesting. The children, space, shouted in the street, are not from our school. So, yes, the children who shouted in the street are not from our school. Now let's move on to number five. We went to the mosque. It's in the middle of the square. Here I describe the place. I'm not just saying the use of the place. 
it's only in the middle of the square so I'm just describing the place and we will take yes which number six a library is a building you can borrow books here I mentioned the use of the place that I can borrow books so it will be yes where number seven what did you do with the money your mother gave you so I will take who no where no what no so I will not I will not use any word and it will be no word I can delete the relative pronoun if it's followed by a subject okay what did you do with the money your mother gave you it's right number eight mr. Kamal is a taxi driver lives next door so yes it will be who is a taxi driver and it will be letter C number nine that's Ahmed the boy waiting there yes the boy who is waiting there and it will be letter D now read and correct the underlined words this is the girl comes from Spain the girl yes it will be who number two he wore a mask made him look like Mickey Mouse so yes which made him look like Mickey Mouse he came with a friend waited outside in the car so yes who waited outside in the car the bag who has the money was yellow so I, I can say the bag which has the money was yellow or the bag that had the money was yellow number five can I talk to the girl sitting on the bench so yes can I talk to the girl that who is sitting on the bench and I will use who plus apostrophe s it means who is my aunt is a she has a big company teacher baker businesswoman or secretary so yes it will be businesswoman number two a is the person who fights fires so he must be yes firefighter number three you should show your before leaving a country so I should show my passport before leaving a country number four a is the person who works at the airport so it must be yes a pilot is the person who works at airports number five we should put rubbish rubbish in puts bins bowls bottles and it will be yes bins number six a space is something that women use to put their money in and it will be yes a purse letter C number seven a space is the person who works on a boat so I'm I'm working on a boat and I must be yes sailor number eight a space is something that takes you to the top of a building without using the stairs so it must be yes the lift teenagers shouldn't spend too much time on media society social media or sociable media or community media so it should be yes teenagers shouldn't spend too much time on social media number eight number ten my little brother likes catching fish he wants to be a yes fisherman number eleven this is the that my family donates money to and it should be yes the charity and this is everything for today and thank you for watching us